Now, some of you might be like asking me, why are you wearing the same shirt again? Well, that's because uh, it's been 10 or 11 days ever since the last video I made. Basically, I just want this to make it like a quick video. I didn't upload for like the past say 10 days i'm not sure and that's because uh, i lost the my laptop so like all of my files there like gone since we're gonna be wearing the same shirt again i brought something new you guys have never seen this shirt before this shirt this jacket before right they look like an idiot so what is the problem that i had to drink water as you guys saw in the title i'm this is very a uh, depressing day, not day, but week, I guess, or season for uh, anime watchers or just weebs in general. As you guys saw in the thumbnail, I got put, like, put some little bit of hint on what series that I'm going to be talking about. Let's start with Attack on Titan. I know, I know, we're going strong and you guys probably know why. <laughs> So today is Monday, which is another episode for Attack on Titan, and I just saw the new uh, episode of Attack on Titan, just basically like a flashback, like three years before the events of season four, which is like seeing Shasha again, like oh man, like seeing her flashback and how everyone reacted to it, and Nicolo as well, dude, 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 like, like there's this one moment and like. Uh, the, the episode 9 where there's no chickens but now there's kids screaming yay uh, I don't know how to explain this man like when they first saw like seafoods first like and then they're like is this even edible like bro you're missing out like dude like Sasha man like I don't know if I'm gonna put some like video or something when I was crying when I watched it but get outside I wanna I wanna yeah I don't really know what I'm gonna explain much but oh man. did you guys know that by the way Sasha I don't know if it's just my country or like worldwide but as far as I know it this is different like this is I think this is only in my country so basically it was trending for like 656 tweets as I know it 556 tweet, but somewhere around there, I know it's probably reached 600. Yo, like, Sasha's death, man. Like, it's just really... Uh, like, the... Oh, man. I, I can't help but somewhat think that if Locke wasn't annoying and wasn't noisy, that he was shouting that they didn't realize Gabby was, like, sneaking up on the airship, like, they would have... Now on to the next series, which is uh, Black Clover, and <laughs> dude, like Black Clover is ending in March 30th, which is gonna be the final episode, episode 170, and there will be a big announcement. Although I'm saying this is a depressing news, but there's it's probably gonna be like Black Clover ship within all over again. They probably just didn't want to put some fillers in it, and like. They didn't want to ruin Black Clover with a lot of fillers like what they did to Naruto, although I love Naruto very much. Like as far as I can remember, the canon episodes in Naruto ended in like 130 or something like that. But it went for like 220 episodes. So like I those like remaining episodes up to 220 were all fillers, so they probably didn't want to do that. Which is like I think because they didn't want to ruin the series and they didn't want to work more in the workload just for the manga to like to update so that they can have more chapters to adapt and third is they're gonna be doing bleach as far as i can remember which is another good thing for bleach fans and i think it's been like a decade for like bleach fans who hasn't like seen enough bleach content although i've drank some bleach if you know what i'm <laughs> i've been watching black lover for like three and a half years almost four years i think when when October hits, it's gonna be four years ever, ever since like the first episode release. And I was a fan of Black Clover even way, way before like the first episode came in. When they put in the, what they call this, the trailer, and a lot of people were like, oh, you're like already hating it. That's like, oh, it's already copying Naruto. It's copying Bleach. It's copying Fairy Tail. Like, 
it's shonen man it's just what it is and although it's not the very original idea because obviously there's like witches and wizard and magic and stuff like that that's been done like a hundred thousand times and then like trying to be the wizard king and something like that like hokage and stuff like that that's already been done but the thing is the way Tabata Yuki sensei does his characters and like his stories and his art if like we're talking about emotional attachment definitely definitely then like the new big three which is i guess for me i would say like black clover my hero and then you just guys and i'm not including demon slayer because that was only big for one season and the movie and it's still big don't get me wrong but like it's not something that's still continuing so <sighs> okay so uh for me i would say like the emotional attachment that i had with Black Clover is just the top. And then probably the next with emotional attachment is... I don't really have that much emotional attachment with Jujutsu Kaisen and My Hero. Probably because Jujutsu Kaisen is just starting. But like, My Hero, I've been watching it for years. But like, I barely have any emotional attachments to any of the side characters. Even hardly for the main characters. Which is like, I think that's what the flaw of the series is. But like, in terms of being like really interesting in terms of the uh, public eye. I guess Jujutsu Kaisen would be the top and then Black Clover would be like the, the third one. But in terms of art, dude, like, have you seen Horikoshi Sensei's art? Like, dude, that's so good. And like, for me, the second would be Black Clover's art. Like, Jujutsu Kaisen's art is good, but like, it's not so, what do you call this? It has a rough art style, which kind of feels like I've finished or um, like it has something like you can still add something more into it but i don't know uh Jujutsu Kaisen is popping right now so i can't really say much about it so on to the next one <sighs> how should i they say this for for the the promised neverland fans <sighs> man like if you haven't seen or you ha you aren't too familiar with the scenes in uh, issue of the Promised Neverland second season is it's basically this the adaptation was poorly made I have like two volumes of the manga but I haven't gone past that which is like it doesn't even like the season one covers more of the manga volumes so I can't really say much so basically I am an anime only and a lot of you might say oh you think this way just because Jesus Christ, the kids are so annoying. You see, there's like two things that I want to eat in this world that is chickens and uh, babies. For the manga readers, a lot of them have been saying they skip Yugo, they skip like Goldie Pond, and that's like they hold they skip a whole arc and then it's like not really sticking to the manga. But then like that's fine and all, like there's a lot of like series that like strayed away from the original source, which isn't really much of a big deal, but I mean Promise Neverland is a very anticipated series with like 25 million, oh wait no, 26 million um, copies uh, worldwide and it's a really anticipated title and we waited for two years and yeah it's really just disappointing to be honest and from the perspective of, of an anime only I already thought it was kind of off because the season one of Promise Neverland is like so like packed with information and like twists and trail and stuff like that but then like for the past five episodes that has been released in the season two i didn't feel like thrilled at all it's basically like tokyo Ghoul route a and yeah i really wish in the near future we would get a the promised neverland brotherhood although on a real note though this is just uh, like a summary of what i thought it's basically uh I really think the flow and pacing of the story is so off and like there's no thrill or whatsoever. The second is they just showed Isabella out of nowhere. As if like they're putting a villain that has already been settled. When I mean it's been settled, it's because we already know that Isabella is rooting for the kids so that they can run away and then like cool we've already settled the mama villain which is i know she will be relevant in the series but like the way she's like being used as a character now is just it's not it man third is i guess the the change of the original story as far as manga reader said they skipped a lot of arcs which is very important to the story well, for example they skip an important character Hugo and Lucas and they skip like the Goldie Pond arc which is like the best arc of the Promised Neverland so I heard and the fourth is 
they showed Norman out of nowhere. Like, okay, so this is a serious topic now. It's been eight or seven episodes ever since Norman disappeared, and now he's there. What the? Like, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. Like, I think I'm only watching it because I am so emotionally attached to the series. But definitely, I'm gonna go buy the whole new manga. But like, man, like they made Norman appear out of nowhere. Like, I already got spoilers on how Norman was like got back on the story. But like, I know. Oh man, looking back on it. And fifth is the pacing. Pacing in the flow, I've said it earlier. Sixth is the events are so forced. It's like, oh hey, you got into the shelter and then the guy that you're finding, Minerva, is dead. And uh, and uh, for some reason, some human soldiers are like trying to like shoot you and then suddenly there's a big demon that appeared and then there's a one year time skip and I don't even know what I'm watching right now. I feel like they're rushing it. The story doesn't make sense and ugh, I'm really disappointed really to be honest. Probably the only good thing about it is the ending song and the opening song because it slaps. I forgot to mention this but there's only gonna be 11 episodes and episode 6 will be a recap episode. Why are you doing this to me? It's not even the normal 12 episode anime and then you're gonna make a recap on it and it's like there's so many fillers and there's a lot of anime only scenes. Now I guess that's probably it. But I forgot if there's some things that I forgot to say, but oh, actually, uh, I actually just finished the manga of Alice in Borderland or Imawana Kuni no Arisu, which is too... Oh, this is like, this is like an easily a 9 out of 10, or like a higher 9 out of 10, and then a lower 10 out of 10, like, I already did a 10 out of 10, just like, you have to read it, because I don't know if Netflix, it, Netflix has done a great job on the live action. They changed some scenes, but like, there's not much of a difference, but like, Dude, dude, like they covered the first 30 plus chapters, so like probably they're gonna cover it with a 8 or 10 episodes because there's only like 64 chapters and the ending was so... Oh, I didn't know how to feel about the ending because it was... You know what, I'm just gonna make another video about it. Yep, because I'm running out of video ideas. So uh, what is the most depressing story for you? Uh, is it Black Clover ending in after more than three years and and promise neverland that following this uh, it's just it's just crap just we say it, it's just crap or sasha the <laughs> ever since black clover aired in 2017 of october the third which is i remember by the way uh i've been watching it weekly for 2017 2018 and 2019 and i somehow just stopped watching it weekly in 2020 i just waited for it to pile up in the episodes and then i binge watch it but like in 2021, now I'm watching it weekly, but then it's gonna end at like March. <sighs> I really wish it's gonna be a movie and then a Black Clover ship within. And for those people who are saying that Black Clover is cancelled, no, it's not cancelled. If you say it's cancelled, I'm ready to fight in the comments with common sense. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you guys in the next Alice in Borderland video.